Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today my friend and I will be talking about informative speech What is informative speech? Informative speech is a tool to facilitate a better understanding to the audience So today I will be talking about self-diagnosis The disadvantage of self-diagnosis <coughs> Understanding what you have and diagnose it is a two different thing So if you are a perfectionist, you can diagnose yourself with a OCD. If you have a anxious anxiety, you cannot diagnose yourself that you have mental illness. So my friends will be talking about how self diagnose will contribute to your health and the disadvantages and the consequences. Thank you. Uh, so today I will talk about the bad effect of the self diagnosis So one of the bad effects of self diagnosis it, uh, is, it can cause uh, the person to neglect the health of their body. So this happened uh, first when the person get the self diagnosis either from themselves through readings or by the person around them, which is their family or friends, except the doctor, they might got the misdiagnosis of uh, their disease. So when this happened, the person will start to ignore about their disease and pain, and they will start to think that uh, this uh, pain will gone by time and they will start to ignore the, uh, the disease. So the result from this is uh, uh, the person might get the pain become more worse and the bad if, uh, effect is they might get the death of the person due to the disease. So this is the bad effect of the self diagnosis. The next impact is drug abuse. If drug is misused, it will, it will raise our health condition. Medication must be taken on the advice of doctor and physician. Self-diagnosis is one of the problems that occurs nowadays. For example, those who self-diagnose will declare, will declare themselves having depression, anxiety, and other mental disease by, by looking symptoms just from the internet. Misuse medication will affect one's health. If the medicine taken does not affect the body at all, it will still not cure the disease. For example, antidepressant medications cannot treat depressive symptoms if the real cause is tumor in the, in your, in the part of the brain. Therefore, it's important for us to listen to the advice from the specialist in this field. Let's be not least, the cell dynasty also will increase the risk of the mental health. For example, either panic, anxiety, stress, or maybe depressed. And mental illness is very serious problem. And this can be proved based on the statistic from Malaysia, where about 91.2% uh, people from Malaysia suffer uh, from uh, from mental illness, especially during pandemic. And for the moment, they do their self tests or self diagnosis. Usually, they will refer to the source from the internet. Although uh, sometimes the information is not really uh, exact or true, but they, be, they tend to, to believe the information without uh, consult with the specialist or maybe doctor. And when they know the suffer from the chronic disease uh, from the self diagnosis, it will cause them to lose their confidence to face the community and at the same time maybe lose their hope that finally will lead them to the suicide and that's why it's important for us to consult or refer to the doctor whatever the problem that we have so that we can know what is the exact disease that we are suffer. Um, okay, now I want to talk about how to uh, prevent self-diagnosis. There are several ways to avoid self-diagnosis. Uh, first, prevent yourself uh, from finding out about the disease uh, through the internet. This is because not all the information in the internet is true. This presents a risk that will push you toward misunderstandings as a result of the diagnostic errors different entirely from the internet. And second, if you feel yourself having a mental problem, don't make people with uh, mental disorders as a reference for uh, your self-diagnosis. Even if your condition is similar to the condition of the person with this mental problem, but not necessarily, the symptoms you experience are the same as the actual characteristics of the person who actually suffers from the disease itself. And third, uh, feel free to go see a doctor or a psychologist if you are experiencing uh, symptoms similar to mental illness or other diseases. 
this is to get certainty from a specialist doctor about uh, what exactly you are experiencing. And for people who suspect they have a mental problem, do not dare to see a psychologist uh, for fear of being considered insane. Instead, it indicates you have a healthy and sane mind to get further information or treatment for yourself. And as a conclusion uh, for our presentation, doing this self diagnosis can be physically and mentally dangerous. Therefore, you should be responsible in preventing uh, this self diagnosis from harming you. And that's all for our presentation. Thank you for watching our video.